Hey folks, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing, and today I want to do a video. I'm going to call it a diver test. Um, you know, people are always confused or not really knowing where their divers go, how deep. And, you know, does it matter if you're running a standard diver? What if you put a mag ring on a standard diver? Will it go deeper? And how much deeper does a mag really go than a standard? So I'm very fortunate. I own one of these smart troll systems. The smart troll system is its an inline probe that you can put on your diver, as you can see here, and in real time, it will dis display back to your Android device how deep it goes. So I'm going to use this system today to tell you guys. What I'm going to do today for this test is I'm going to run four different diver configurations, and I'm, all gonna, I'm going to let all four divers out to the magic number of 150. So what, the first one I've got here is just a standard, this is a Project Salmon standard diver. I just got, I think it's like an eight foot lead, and I just got an eight inch paddle. I'm not gonna put a hook or fly or anything on this because I don't need to. This is pure, purely let it out, get the depth, bring it back in. No point in me having hooks flying around. So that's the first diver. But what I've also done is I've prepped four Project Salmon black divers, this one here, standard weight, magnum ring. This is a dipsy diver, magnum ring, clicked on. The next one, black diver, standard weight, mag ring. What I've done is I've actually put a five ounce snap weight on the front to give it more weight. This is my mag diver uh, substitute or alternative. And I'll show you what this baby does in a second. And then last, we gotta test out a mag. So similar, black Project Salmon uh, diver. I took a Magnum Dipsy Diver weight, screwed it to the bottom, and put a Dipsy Diver ring on. So these are the four configurations that I'm gonna test today. I'm gonna test all, configura all four configurations on the exact same rod with the exact same reel. Because as those of you know, you know, every rod, the counters can be a little different based on how much lines on the reel. And I wanna keep this test as scientific and consistent as I possibly can. So what I'm using today, I'm using a Streamside Predator 9 points, uh, nine and a half foot medium heavy roller rod for divers. And I am using the new Streamside Predator uh, PLX 30 uh, trolling rod. Brand new reels, I'm probably one of the first guys to have it on the water. Uh, so far I like what I'm uh, feeling, but I haven't yet used it to catch a fish because it's early season here out of Bluffers Park and I'm truly out today to do this video and to just get my rods all set up and my gear set up. So, let's get this test started. I am going to apologize, it's probably going to take a little while because you're going to see me let out four divers, wait one at a time obviously, wait for the smart troll to update, get a depth. I'll tell you the depth, I'll bring it in and we'll do the next one. So test number one, standard Project Salmon Diver, standard weight, standard ring. Let's let it out and see what happens. What you'll notice here is I'm checking the counter to be zero and I made sure that the diver was essentially at the top of the rod by about two inches of line because I want to keep everything as consistent as possible in this test. Same rod holder, same setting on the rod holder, one click up. I want to keep everything the same. Line will be let out to 150. So let's let this one out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait about 60 seconds or so. I want to let the smart troll actually catch up and, and, and read, uh, read the depth. This, like I said, this is uh, number one standard diver. We're almost there. And we're at 150 on the diver setting. So it's going to give a moment here. The, the smart troll will start updating. 
And it has. Right now it's showing I'm down 30 feet, but it's going to update some more. Uh, give it a second here. I usually like to wait for the divers, give it a minute or so to update. Okay, here we go. Now we got 50 feet. I'll wait till I get three or four updates that are all the same, consistent, within a foot or so. And that's when I know we've hit uh, the depth for that particular, uh, that particular configuration. Still showing 50 feet. We've got another update. We'll give it a couple more. Because this is setting our baseline. What does a standard diver go down on my particular boat? On this particular rod and reel setup, at the trolling speed we're doing, um, we're doing about 2.2, 2.3 uh, GPS speed mile an hour, just so we can stay uh, consistent. I'm at 54, so 150 feet line out. I got 54, I got 55. Give it a moment. I think we're settling. I know that typically a standard diver goes to about 54 to 55, typically when I'm in this area of water, this speed. So let's, uh, let's just give it another moment and I'll sh show you guys. Okay, it's updating again. Give it a sec, let's make sure, 56. Okay, we are updated. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but we, last time I looked here, we are 56 feet down. So 55, 56 is what our standard diver has given us. Uh, standard ring, nothing special, call it right out of the package the way you get a standard diver, whether it be from Project Salmon or someone else. Okay, let's get this in now. I apologize, this video might be a little long in spots, as I do have to bring in the divers and let them back out. But, I think that information you're going to get from this today will be worth it. Okay, there's our first one in the boat. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly swap out the, um, the diver. So off comes our standard diver. Off comes the leader at the back. I'm going to take the second diver. We're going to test the standard diver, but I've added a Dipsy Diver mag ring to this particular one. Often folks believe that by adding a mag ring, you're going to get somewhere depth-wise between a mag diver and a standard diver. So let's see what actually happens once we've got the, uh, the technology to tell us. Similar thing, I want to keep everything consistent. Um, the one thing I didn't mention, for the purpose of this test today, I've set every uh, I've set every diver in a number three setting. So they're all in a number three setting because again, I wanted to keep everything as consistent as I possibly could. So we'll give it a second, we'll let that diver out to 150, and then we'll see what the smart troll registers. Our standard diver was between 55 and 56. Uh, standard diver, standard ring. Sorry about this folks, it's going to take a little bit of time just as we uh, get that diver out. Checking, I'm still at that two, between 2.2 and 2.3 GPS speed. Again, I'm just trying to keep things as consistent as I possibly can. 
Make sure we're going the same direction, same water, same everything. And we're at 150 feet. So let's give it a second. Let's see what happens. We'll let the smart troll update. Uh, I picked up the smart troll last season. I think some of you know that subscribe to my channel. Uh, love the device. Uh, it really, it's a game changer when it comes to doing speed and speed and uh, depth and temperature. Because instead of having one probe like many of the competition, you can have up to six probes. Um, you can buy a one probe kit, use it on your rigger one minute, put it on your diver the next, to put it on a long line the next. So lots of uh, lots of flexibility. Uh, actually to the point that you know through my company Project Salmon.ca now, uh, we're actually the Canadian dealer. So if you are in Canada and you're looking to get a smart troll, feel free. Go check out our site, uh, give me a buzz, let me know if you got any questions, but a great unit that allows you to do this. Okay, so it's starting updates. Uh, I had 50 feet, now I got 54 feet, so keep in mind this is a standard diver, standard weight, magnum ring from Lure Gen, or Dipsy Diver. So, let's see what it's got updating. Right now I got 55, we'll give it another minute or so. Keep in mind our standard diver with standard ring was 55, 56. So let's see if we get any extra depth out of the out of this ring. Some of you might have watched a previous uh, torpedo uh, live podcast that I was on, and I, I've actually shared this answer before, but I wanted to do it here on the water. Okay, we're updated. We've got lots of updates, and our depth is. I'm not sure if you can see this. Our depth for that standard diver, magnum ring, standard weight. 56 feet 56 just got a 57 but 56 57 so essentially the exact same as a standard diver with no mag ring so you know kind of a bit of a myth bust here adding a magnum ring to a standard diver does not get it any deeper what it actually does is just push it away from the boat a little bit more okay let's go to the next test let me bring this one in Okay, so let's get this in, get the diver swapped, and let's do it again. So, all I'm going to do here again, I'm going to pop off the diver, I'm going to take off the leader. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down the true mag diver. Like this is a one of my Project Salmon divers. I've taken a mag weight from a Dipsy diver. I've taken a mag ring from a Dipsy Diver, so this is now a mag diver. And I'm going to add this onto the same setup with that Smart Troll Probe. Okay, everything's locked in, swivels are locked, we're good to go. Let's get this one out and see what happens. It'll be the same, same setting, it's set of the number three. Still a number three setting. I'm going to let it out to 150. Everything is going to stay consistent because I want you to see how much depth we get with a magnum diver. Check the counter. It's zero. Let it up. Now this one should go down a little quicker because it's got a lot more weight on it. But we'll give it a second to update and get to the desired depth of 150. Checking my GPS speed again, 2.26, 2.27, so we're right on that same speed. Just trying to keep everything as consistent as possible for us here. This test, I'm going to let a little bit of a secret out. You are going to see a difference, right? We've got the Magnum ring 
but we've got a lot of weight, and the weight is actually what gets a diver down deeper. So let's see. We're locked at 150 again. So, number three setting. Magnum ring. Magnum weight. This is a this is a mag diver. Right as you would buy one from the store. This is a magnum diver. Let's see what it does at that same number three setting. 150 feet of line out. I should mention actually, I forgot to mention. Um, I'm running a torpedo seven strand wire on this test. That's what I use on my boat. 99% of the time, the other 1% of the time, I may use some torpedo 19 strand, but I'm a big fan of the 7 strand. That's what I like to use most of the time. That's what I'm using for this test. Okay, so let's give it a second and let's get the smart troll to update. Okay, we're already at 63 feet. So you can see that mag weight does something because we're down at 63 already. The deepest we got was 56, 57 on the other two setups. But let's, let's let it continue to update because I think it's going to go more. Yeah, we're at 65 now. 65 feet. Sixty-seven feet. So we've got a good 10, 11 feet more now. So that's about, I'm going to say 17 to 18 percent more. We'll give it another moment or so, another update, see if we get a bit higher than 67. Typically, I think 67, 68 is about what we get with a mag diver set up like this, but I'm gonna give it one more try. One more update, let's wait for it to flash here, saying it's updated. And we are at 67 feet, not sure if you can see that, but 67 feet. Actually, sorry, we just got an update, 69 feet. So 67 to 69 is where we seem to be getting with the uh, 150 out on the mag. I'm going to wait one more time, see if we get another update just in case here, because it did change. I want to see if it changes again, lower or higher. If it doesn't go higher, we'll call it 67 to 69 feet for the Magnum Diver. Okay, we just got an update there. I'll give it one more update to see. We seem to be set at 69 now. Okay, and we have another update. 69 feet is our magnum diver. Okay, so now let's get this out of the water. So you can see the magnum diver picked up about 12 feet versus the standard diver at 150 feet of line up. Now, I'm gonna show you my, you know, drop weight or snap weight diver setup. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it, um, it works. You know, you don't have to have all kinds of uh, mag divers and mag uh, uh, kicking around. Most diver companies probably don't appreciate me sharing this tip with you, but uh, you know what? I'm here to show you guys some ways, to, some different ways to fit it. I think you'll like this. Okay, so let's get this diver off. And we'll get my uh, standard diver, but with a uh, magnum ring. And I've, in this case, I've got a five ounce snap weight added to it. I, and I can tell you guys, you can play with snap weights here. This particular one, I got a five ounce, it works. Uh, and I get a bunch of extra depth. So let's, uh, let's get this all rigged up. Same way, number three setting on the weight that's actually on the diver. And then the, the actual the actual snap weight, I just used a ring there, and I put it right below the swivel that connects to your line. Hopefully, you can see that on the uh, on the camera here. New camera for me here for on the boat, so I'm not uh, I'm not sure how wonderful this is going to work out, but I'm going to give it a try. Now I'm going to connect this to the smart troll. We're locked in. Similar setup, 
on your back. Zero my counter. Let's do this again. This, I don't know, some people want to call this like a poor man's mag stuff. I don't think it's really a poor man's stuff when you're putting like a five ounce weight on it. I, I call it more efficient because you're not having to have tons of divers, tons of weights. Uh, sorry, tons of divers, tons of, uh, you know, mag dipsies. You can keep your standard divers and just add weight to them. So here we are. I'm going to add, uh, going to let out 150 feet again. And we'll see where this one goes. And we're at 150, so we'll give it a moment for the smart troll to update. While I'm waiting for it to update, I will say, like, I'm not a fan of running mag divers, or I'm not even a fan of running this setup, frankly. It's a lot of weight. Um, so I, I don't run this setup all the time, but you need to have this in your arsenal. And why is that? Because especially where I fish in the Toronto area, uh, but actually this happens across many different ports of Lake Ontario, as the season goes along, especially the last few years, we get really warm water. And we don't see, you know, below 50 degree temps until we get down below 100 feet. And if a standard diver just won't get you down there. Whereas a Magnum diver or this diver set up with the additional weight, it will get you down there. It will get you down there. So I find if I want to be down around 100 feet um, with a Magnum diver, I let out about 230, 240 and I can get down there. So that's where um, I, I run these heavier weight setups. I don't love them. If I can get away with a standard diver, I'll use a standard diver any day of the week. Okay, so our smart troll is updating. And so far, we've got it showing 63 feet. Not bad. Not quite the same as the mag yet, but we'll give it another moment. The mag got us down to 67. This uh, this setup will get us close, though. It may be 63, maybe 64, but uh, as you can see there, we've just added uh, from the we've added you know six seven feet of depth from the standard diver just by adding that snap weight. So we'll give it another uh, we'll give it another moment to see if we get to another update and then we'll call uh, we'll call the test. And as I'm doing that, I've caught a fish, which is wonderful. So now I'm going to just leave this guy over here out of the way. That's a really nice king too that I've got. So I'm actually going to start ending this video in a second, but we got down to 64 with the uh, diver with the, the added weight. So with that, folks, I hope you like this video, and I uh, hope this helps you out. We'll talk to you later, and you're going to get this king in. Later, guys.